Have you ever written a screenplay where the intention was not to film it yourself? Was it to just write it for a director for hire to make or huh? another company to take on? Yeah, my first 10 screenplays were like that. Uh, was was actually, it was written for other directors to direct uh, because I had no desire at all to direct films at all. Uh, it wasn't until I did White Man Cheat and then everything after that is for me, it was like, I'm going to direct this stuff. Uh, but my earlier, everything that, that was written uh, prior to me directing, my first feature was for other directors to direct, you know, because I never had the desire to act, ever, ever direct a film until I actually got on a set for the first time. And I was like, oh, this is what, this is, this is what I'm passionate about. Were you, were you nervous or you just didn't want to have that responsibility? of directing and managing 50 things at once? Um, well, the, the first, when I first got on the film set, days leading up to uh, directing, I was definitely nervous. Uh, but it wasn't because I didn't want to manage, uh, it was because I was, uh, I didn't have the confidence because uh, I didn't know what I was doing. So there was that insecurity of not knowing what I was doing. Um, so it, we had all of those things going on. You know, I was, I was insecure. I, was, I, was, uh, I didn't have the confidence that I have now um, because I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, but it's, you know, and this is like, this has been quite a few films, whereas, you know, um, it took a while for me to get the confidence to be able to actually deal with actors, uh, the confidence to deal with, um, uh, know how to set up, do my shot list and all that kind of stuff. So this was over a period of time. It was just, I didn't just direct my first film, then my second film, I knew it. This was, again, like for me, it was going through film school. Every project is going through film school. And so, but it was, it was as I was learning my confidence, I was building my confidence up at the same time. Because again, if you don't know uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you, 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 you're insecure about what you're doing. And I was very, uh, I wasn't secure in, as far as being a director, mm -hmm. being, because I didn't have the knowledge <laughs> uh, of what I was doing, so. I would imagine you were secure with sports. You said earlier in mm -hmm. the interview that you played with baseball and mm -hmm. basketball at this local park or something. Mm -hmm. So could you take that same feeling of confidence to this? Because in some ways it's similar, I mean, you're, you're in a big arena, you're playing with a bunch of people, some are on your team, maybe some aren't, and you know, you're, you're kind of moving around, there's a lot of moving pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, so when, when, as it relates to sports, even as a, because I play, I play Little League Baseball, which I wasn't very good at baseball, uh, so when, when, when I play, I, I wanted to, I, I'm a Cubs fan, I was, Love Sean Dunstan. He was like the shortstop for uh, Chicago Cubs, and I wanted to play shortstop only because I saw it. You know, I was like a Sean Dunstan fan, uh, uh, a fan. And so when I got to Little League and I wanted to play, you know, I wanted to play Little League. They would hit the ball like I don't know about this. So there was this, still an insecurity because I wasn't a good baseball player. Now basketball was different. I was pretty good at basketball, and I also wrestled. I was a wrestler in high school. And so I was pretty good. I was pretty good at wrestling. But even when I started wrestling, when I was losing, you know, there was still that, I had to get that confidence to know that I can win. So when it came to my second year, and so like, well, my, this is what my coach did, my wrestling coach did. Like my first year, I didn't go down state. I was, cause I was, that was my first year wrestling. So I was losing a lot, but he took me down state with the other uh, uh, city champions. So to help me to see how, as a wrestler, but that built my confidence up. I was like, man, I can do this. So the next year I went, I placed in the city, and the year after that I placed in the city, so the last, next two years, I went downstate. But that was, I had to have my confidence built. You know, and as a, as a, as a filmmaker, when I first hit that set, you know, um, I wasn't sure of who I was as a filmmaker. You know, it was that nervousness. Uh, because, you know, but at the same time, it was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I mean, it's, I wasn't afraid. I overcame that fear 
but I just needed more confidence, you know, because I didn't, I didn't have that, I liked the knowledge. But once I started to go and do it, and do it more, and do it more, and do it more, let's just give you an example, like, you know, like when a, a father is, tells his son to jump off a porch and so he can catch him. So, and the son, you know, he's hesitant at first. So he does it one time. Then the second time is, it becomes so natural for him to do it, or so easy for him to do it because he has that confidence that his, his father's gonna catch him. It was the same with me. Like once I did it one time, okay, okay, this is, I like this. Did the second time, third time, fourth time. And with each project, I was building my confidence up because I was learning more and I was open to, I was open to, again, the constructive criticism. I was open to uh, working with collaborating and, and listening to people who knew more than I knew. And I had to put the ego aside and say, okay, I want to learn this. I want, this is what I want to do. So I didn't go on this film set with pride or with ego. I went on there because I knew this is something I love and this is something that I wanted to learn. You know, so I had to put all that, that, that aside, you know, and I had to overcome that fear. But that confidence is, I had to build my confidence.